All right, everyone. So today I'm doing the second half of my raised bed project. We'll see how far I can get. It's currently threatening rain outside. So I thought for ease of construction and just based on some of the tips that I got from the last couple of videos, I'm gonna try to assemble the frames here inside the garage and then carry them one by one up the hill, get them leveled out, and then secure them in place. So I'm hoping that this time it'll be a lot faster and I can get these three raised beds all put together this weekend. <laughs> I feel absolutely silly because <laughs> I built six levels in less than an hour when last time that took me like two different weekends. So a couple things I learned is that number one, building on a level surface is way easier. Uh, number two, self-tapping screws. So I picked up some exterior wood screws. They're about three inches long and they self-tap. So last time I spent so much time pre-drilling holes and then screwing them in, waiting for the drill to recharge. And this time, you know, it just took a fraction of the time. So all there's left to do now is get these up the hill, level out that platform and secure them in place. So this project's gonna take way much less time. The next step in my raised bed project is to just level these off so that I can get them nice and level on the ground and stack them up together. So I'm gonna be working on that today. Excuse my get up here, but we are finally filling up the last of the three raised beds. So I got a delivery from an awesome organic soil company. It was super cheap, much cheaper than buying the individual bags from Home Depot or Lowe's and you know, far less plastic. So it's all organic. It's great stuff. It's a 50-50 mix of or and local topsoil and compost. And so Phil's helping me wheelbarrow it up the hill. So I'll show you that massive mound that we've got in the driveway and how great it all looks. So here's what that massive pile of soil looks like. And we had an eight by 10 tarp underneath and you can see it's definitely flowed all the way over. The delivery driver actually laughed when I said, well, I think I needed a bigger tarp. And he said, that's what they all say. So yeah, it was a lot more than what I thought it was going to be. It's about three cubic yards, so that equates to about 27 cubic feet. And that should fill up all three of my last raised beds. So uh, it's starting to rain on me, but I want to get a lot more done. So I'm going to get to it. All right, bye. Okay, everyone, that took a lot of work. But as you can see, we finally finished filling up the last of the three raised beds. Um, it's now the end of October. So this project took a little bit longer than we wanted, but a book of that was just hauling dirt up the hill. And why could we not bring the Jeep up, Phil? So you would ruin the lawn. Ruin the lawn. Yeah, check that out. It's, it's looking fantastic. So that'll be another video um, all about how Phil 
um, completely restored our lawn, how it's looking awesome, and it's ready to head into winter now. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Got some wintering crops here, and uh, I think we're pretty tired. So I think it's time to call this call this one a wrap. All right, bye everyone.